I'm Matthew who runs Black Bay Media and today I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes of the Mike Jones Dreams edit. Uh, all of this edit was filmed on a Sony A6300 which I'm filming on right now and then we've got a 18-105mm to Sony G lens f-stop 4 uh, a Sony 35mm f-stop 1.8, a Sony 50mm 1.8, a 7mm fisheye at f2.8, a Zion crane gimbal, crane 2, uh, with the Sony mounted on it, and some variable density filters, uh, ND filters, which is basically a sunglasses for the camera. Rode Video Mic Pro, a GoPro Hero 5, a GoPro Karma gimbal that I don't have with me, and a DJI Phantom 3 Advanced Drone that I no longer have because it was stolen from my van. <laughs> After knowing Mike for many years from doing racing and being competitors, I got into filmmaking and I really wanted to create something with Mike. And we finally got some dates down to create something, but we didn't know what to create. So I uh, got to work writing down some ideas and uh, I thought it would be good to, to show Mike's career from a teenager and his growth into the professional downhill racer that he now is and um, I'm trying to compile that into an edit in less than five minutes. To achieve this we needed a young actor or in our case a uh, young Adam Slade who is a up and coming enduro racer to play the part of Mike Jones as a teenager and show his growth from riding a normal bike into a mountain bike and into a downhill bike and so on and so forth. Ready? Test shot one, three, two, one. To film a part of Mike as a teenager, me, Jack Slade and Adam Slade head out around my local area and we found some streets that looks real old and resembles Port Talbot where Mike is from and we went ahead shooting some scenes of him riding around on an older bike and playing football and then onto a newer bike and starting to jump and, and progressing his skills on a bike and sort of we just wanted to portray what it would be like for Mike as a teenager uh, growing up in Port Albert. To film these bits with Adam Slade, we used uh, the gimbal and uh, my van to track Adam from the front and then running uh, alongside him with a gimbal to get the side tracking shot. Uh, 
uh, as you can see, them shots of me running are hilarious. Kill some Benny Hill music. <laughs> After the Adam Slade section, the film sort of takes a turn into Mike in the present day, uh, riding downhill at Riola, uh, trail bike at Kumkan and trail bike at Riska. We filmed the trail bike first at Kumkan with the help of Daryl, who helped us get some, some tracking shots from inside his van alongside the, the Tuck Trail and just carted us around for the day. We got a bunch of shots at Riska um, with some nice sunlight in the backdrop, uh, running through some some gnarly terrain with the gimbal. For these specific shots, they were all shot on the gimbal with the Sony A6300, either the 18 to 105 millimeter lens or the Sony 35 millimeter lens. And uh, at Riola, with the downhill bike, we got lots of fast-moving gimbal shots, high-paced, me running like an idiot, as fast as I could to keep up with Mike. Just some real pan-zoom epics to show Mike's speed, uh, not only cinematically, but in raw format. Working with Mike was awesome. We've had a long friendship from racing and competing, so it was easy to get out and, trip and we had lots of time to talk about what's going on with World Cup racing and, and just have a really good day filming. He was he was super keen and he was willing to do each shot two or three times. I was It was the first weekend I had actually used that gimbal, so uh, I was still getting used to it and trying to perfect the shots. So. Um, Really thankful to Mike for all his effort uh, in the video. Uh, if you enjoyed the behind scenes, let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe. And I'll um, I'll be giving you a lot more content from Black Vein Media. Thank you. Maker, Riley Rider.